Now to the South Bay, where the wet weather and the winds have blown over some Christmas decorations. Fox 5's Misha DeBono continues our team coverage from Chula Vista. Misha. Yeah, hey Maria, we are on in a little area called Christmas Circle. It's actually Whitney Lane. It's one of those streets that people wait for all year to uh, come by and visit. All the houses decorate. Well, with the rain and the strong winds, it's a little died down now. A lot of the decorations have been knocked over. A house across the street, a tree came down and took out their lights in the front. These folks here behind me tell me they had to turn their water off inside because one of their decorations fell and uh, cut a, actually hit a pipe. Um, so it's kind of a big problem out here, but you know what? These people are not letting it dampen their spirit. At 5.30 this morning, the tree was standing, and uh, a little while ago, it wasn't. A darling neighborhood that's come to be known as Christmas Circle on Whitney Lane in Chula Vista is taking a beating from Mother Nature. Heavy rain coming down sideways and strong wind knocking over lights and decorations on house after house. And at this home, toppling a tree. It's rained every year that we've done this, and we've done it for 64 years. Judith Sullivan and her husband have lived here for 50 years. They're not letting a little rain damper their holiday spirit. And really, how could they when upwards of 47,000 vehicles drive slowly through their beautifully decorated neighborhood in the two weeks surrounding Christmas, ooing and eyeing over the holiday display? I love this time of the here because everybody comes together. Um, my husband is right now trying to figure out how we're going to put a pole in there for her to uh, string the lights back up. Okay, so that's that's the next step. This neighborhood has been decking out their homes for Christmas for the last 64 years. Judith's husband, who resembles a very famous man who travels the world on Christmas Eve, loves the tradition as much as she does. We had a little girl that stood in front of the, the pop-up and she just, oh, ooh, ooh, look, ooh, you know. Buddy admits it's a lot of work and when the weather isn't cooperating, even more so. I, tonight, it'll be really hard to put stuff up because of the wet. They just don't want to blow up. Still, that won't stop them from making sure their decorations are ready for the strolling children that make the season magical. It's just fun. You have kids coming around. We have um, nothing more than a blow up Santa and dog that do this, okay? And they will stand and stare at it. They love the ones that move. And it's it's just fun to watch them. It really is just fun. I think though tonight it's gonna be uh, game over out in this neighborhood. Although I will say I'm gonna show you next hour, there is a house that they're just blowing up all of their decorations right now and the lights are on. So they're gonna brave it with the wind. But I don't know if you noticed, uh, the Santa Claus behind me was standing upright when we started and he's now tipped over. So. Um, we're going to come back in, uh, in an hour from now and check it out, and maybe the lights will be on. We'll let you guys know. Well, for now, we'll send it back to you in studio. You know what, Misha, we've been watching you since 1 o'clock as you've been fighting uh, with that umbrella and that wind out there, and we watched Frosty go <laughs> over right away. But uh, try to find a place to stay warm and dry, and we appreciate your coverage out there. Thank you.